Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to crochet this little dress with puff sleeves. It's for baby girls between six and nine months old. Now, I made this little dress to match the little cardigan sweater and baby blanket that I showed you last week. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave the link to these tutorials. Also in the information box, you will find some information on how you can make it smaller from zero to three months and up to 24 months. So be sure to check that out. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Okay, to make this little dress, this is the yarn that I'm going to be using. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabrett. I'm going to use acrylic yarn, but you can use cotton yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. And the hook that I'm going to be using is this one here. It's 3.5 millimeter, which is an E hook. Now, the yoke for the little dress, the main color is going to be pink and white. For the tutorial for the yoke, you're going to see this here. It's done exactly in the same way, so I didn't want to record it and then do the same thing. It's exactly in the same way. The only difference is the color. So I just thought I'd let you know before you get started that the little dress, it's all going to be pink and white as the secondary color. Okay, let's get started. So here, to begin, I have 62 chains. This chain here is also measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. So here, to begin, on the second chain from the hook, one, two, so into the second chain here, make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 61 single crochets. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 61 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now from here on, these two chains never count as a stitch. They're just here so that here along the edge, once we finish the yoke, it's nice and straight. So here to begin, on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. This is how we're going to continue for the second row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have my last double crochet chain one. Here at the end, I have these last two single crochets. Into the last single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. I have a total of 31 double crochets in this second row. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Inside this chain one space, make two double crochets. On top of the next double crochet, make a double crochet. And again, inside the chain one space, two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. Make a double crochet on top of the double crochet and into the chain one space, make two double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 91 double crochets. Here at the end to finish, I just made my last double crochet on top of the last double crochet. Make sure you have 91 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. This is how we're going to continue for this fourth row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Here at the end, I finish by making my last double crochet. I have a total of 46 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. 
Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make two double crochets. In this row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did for the third row. So again, on top of the next double crochet, make a double crochet, and into the chain one space, make two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue making one double crochet, then two. One, two, one, two, all the way to the end of this fifth row. So continue like this. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now I have my last chain one space here and I have my last double crochet. Into this last chain one space here, I'm only going to make one double crochet. And now on top of the last double crochet, make your last double crochet. Now at the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 135 double crochets. Here into this last chain one space, we have to do this adjustment so that I finish with an odd number of double crochets so that the next row works out correctly when we do the double crochet chain one row. So now for the sixth row, chain two and turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Now this is how you're going to continue for the sixth row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 68 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now in this seventh row, we're going to work this row a little bit differently. We're going to start by making two double crochets into this space, then one double crochet on top of this double crochet, and then one double crochet into the next space. So we're going to do double crochet, then two, double crochet, one, double crochet, two, double crochet, one. So one, two, one, two, into the chain one spaces, and then the double crochets here, we're going to work the same thing, a double crochet. So let me show you. So here into the first chain one space, make two double crochets. On top of the double crochet, make one. Into this next space, make one double crochet. On top of the double crochet, make one. Into this next space, make two double crochets. On top of the double crochet, make one, and then one double crochet. Again, one double crochet on top of the double crochet, two double crochets into this chain one space, one double crochet on top of the double crochet, and then one double crochet into the next space. We're not going to make too many increases in this row because the yoke is going to start to get wavy and we don't want that. So continue like this, into one chain one space, make two, then one, two, one, two, one, and then so on. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 169 double crochets. Now for the eighth row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Continue like this to the end of this eighth row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 85 double crochets separated by one chain. Now, as you can see, I've changed color here. I've decided to make the yoke here for the little dress in pink, and then we're going to make the little ruffles that we did here along um, in these rows here in the center in white. I know the little sweater is the opposite. For the little sweater, we did white with pink, so I'm going to change the color up a bit here for the little dress. Now, before we continue, put a stitch marker here to hold this stitch here, or you can tie a little knot here at the end. We're going to come back to the eighth row once we finish the little ruffles that we're going to do here all around the yoke. So here, 
what we're going to do into, let's see, row one, three, five, and seven is the following. Here is uh, the right side. Make sure that you're on the right side. The eighth row was worked from the wrong side out. So this here is going to be the right side. I have placed a stitch marker here to mark the, the right side of the yoke here. So we're going to go right here to this opposite side. So this is where I have this end. So we're going to go right here into the row of single crochets right in the middle of these two double crochets. Insert your hook like this from the bottom up. So like this. Now I'm going to use white here to do this part. So I'm going to grab a loop here bring it through the front, chain one. Now into this same stitch here, the first single crochet here, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now chain one, skip to the next single crochet between the next two double crochets, so right here, and make a single crochet three chains, single crochet. Chain one, skip to the next single crochet between the next two double crochets, so right here, and make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Now this is all we're going to do all the way to this other end. This is what it looks like. So continue, I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this row, and then we're going to come back to this other end and uh, work the second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row here. Now to finish, I did my last single crochet, chain three, single crochet into this last chain one space. So here to finish, I'm just going to go to the side here of the chain here at the end. And I'm just going to grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn, pass your yarn through this last loop, and this row here is done, and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing for each one of the next three rows. Um, here at the end, unfortunately, you're going to have to cut your yarn at the end of every row and then start back again here on this other side. So to start you off here for the second row, we're going to go right here into the third row, which is a row of double crochets. So make a loop here. Insert your hook from the bottom up into this first double crochet right here. Now grab a loop. Chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet chain one. Now into the next double crochet between the next two double crochets here. Insert your hook and make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, chain one, into the next double crochet, same thing, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain one, and then same thing into the next double crochet between the next two. Now continue like this, finish this second row, and then cut your yarn and come back here to this end and then do the uh, next two rows. I will come back and show you once this part here is done. Okay, I finished making the last row here of the yoke. This is what it looks like. This is going to be the front now because we're making a little dress. So this here is going to be the front. Now we did a total of four rows here of these ruffles and at the end of every row we were cutting the yarn and then starting back again on the opposite side so we have four rows don't worry about these ends here once we do uh, here along the front panels we're going to hide these ends so now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves we're going to start counting rows this is going to be the first row so here this is where we left off. This is the eighth row here. So at the end of the eighth row, I had a total of 85 double crochets separated by one chain. Now to divide the sleeves, this is how we're going to do it. Each one of the front panels is going to have 11 double crochets. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Put a stitch marker into this next chain one space. Now for the sleeves, we're going to have 20, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 
14, 16, 18, 20 double crochets. And into this next chain one space, put a stitch marker. Now for the back side, or actually this is going to be the front of the little dress, we're going to have 23 double crochets. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, put a stitch marker into the next chain one space. And then again, for the second sleeve, you should have 20. And then for the front panel here, you should have 11. So we have 11, 20 for the sleeves, 23 for the back side, 20 for the sleeve, and then 11 for the front panel. That's how we're going to divide the sleeve. So here, we're going to start the first row. So chain two and turn. Now, beginning on top of this first double crochet here, make a double crochet. Now, to continue, I'm going to count for you how many chain one spaces I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chain one spaces, including this one where I have the stitch marker. So, into each one of these chain one spaces, we're going to make two double crochets on top of the double crochet we're not going to do anything so skip the double crochet and into the next chain one space make two double crochets that's how you're going to continue for the front panel i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the first sleeve i finished making these double crochets for this front panel up to here this is the last chain one space i have 23 double crochets now into this same space here we're going to add one extra double crochet so now i have 24 double crochets for this front panel now to divide the sleeve chain one skip 20 double crochets two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and into the first double crochet of the front panel here. This is going to be the front. Make a double crochet. And this is how I divide the first sleeve. Now, if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve to add to the waist, then you can do that. I'm only going to add one chain. Now, here we have a total of 22 chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 chain one spaces. Into each one of these 22 chain one spaces, you're going to make two double crochets skip the double crochet and into the next two double crochets continue i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve now before we continue i forgot to mention i have put a stitch marker here and i forgot to mention the reason why i had a stitch marker this stitch marker here is marking the center uh here of the back side or the front side remember we have a total of 23 double crochets so i put a stitch marker on this double crochet which is double crochet number 13. see we if we count the double crochets i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so into this 13th double crochet i put a stitch marker so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make one double crochet on top of this 13th double crochet and this is because i want to finish this first row with an odd number of stitches if i continue in the same sequence i'm going to finish with an even number of stitches and i don't want that because in the next row i want to work the row of double crochet chain one so make sure that you add an extra double crochet here in the center and that's why i went ahead and marked the 13th double crochet so now you're just going to continue and work two double crochets into each one of the chain one spaces so make sure that you add that extra stitch here on the back side or the front side i keep saying the back side it's the front this is going to be a dress so it's the front so continue finish here i will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve i finished making these double crochets for the front side remember here in the center we did one double crochet on top of this double crochet so you should have a total of 47 double crochets for the front side my last double crochet i did it here on top of this last double crochet of the front side so you should have 
47 double crochets now to divide the second sleeve chain one skip these 20 double crochets and into the space here where i have the stitch marker so right here before the first double crochet of the front panel make three double crochets one two three now into each one of these chain one spaces you're going to make two double crochets here at the end once we finish this front panel you should have 24 double crochets continue let's finish this first row and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row this is where we have divided the sleeve i finished this second front panel and i have 24 double crochets here for this front panel now at the end of this first row you should have a total of 95 double crochets plus the chains that we did here under the sleeve so each front panel has 24 and 24 and here for the front panel you should have 47 double crochets now to finish this row we're going to go on top of the first double crochet right here and we're going to join with a slip stitch from here on we're going to work the little dress in the round so now for the second row we're going to chain two and beginning on top of this first double crochet which is the same where we join with a slip stitch make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one this is how we're going to continue all around for this second row here i'm going to show you how you're going to work the chain that we added under the sleeve you're just going to treat it like a normal stitch i'm not sure if we're going to finish with a double crochet there or a chain so let's see skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and then skip the last double crochet for this front panel so here where i have the chain i have to do a double crochet chain one skip the first double crochet and into the second double crochet chain one and so on this is all we're going to do for the second row so continue i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did double crochets chain one into this last double crochet of this front panel i have my last double crochet chain one to finish this row we're going to go on top of the first double crochet right here and we're going to join with a slip stitch and here is the second row you should have a total of 49 double crochets separated by one chain now what we're going to do next is we're going to start our pattern stitch the pattern that i'm going to use here for the skirt of the little dress is the same one here that i did for this uh, baby coat or little sweater now there is going to be a difference between the stitches here for the little coat i did four double crochets when i did the row of shells but in the little dress i'm going to make it with six double crochets you can do it like this that would be up to you the only thing i recommend is uh, maybe use a slightly bigger hook maybe a four millimeter hook so that the skirt here has a bit more volume i'm going to continue with the same crochet hook because i'm going to make my shells here a little bit bigger so to start here uh, this is the third row into the first chain one space here i'm going to make a slip stitch now chain one and into this same stitch here the chain one space make a single crochet chain one now into the next chain one space here i'm going to make the first shell each one of these shells is going to consist of six double crochets see two four five six chain one into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one into the next chain one space make a shell so six double crochets sing that's five six chain one into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one into the next chain one space make a shell this is how we're going to continue just alternating between a shell 
single crochet between a shell, chain, single crochet, chain, shell, and so on. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have the last shell here. I have not chained one here at the end. And I have this last chain one space. I'm going to skip this last chain one space and I'm going to go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this third row with a total of 24 shells. Now for the fourth row, we're going to turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell, we have six double crochets. Into the first double crochet, insert your hook like this and make a front post, slip stitch, chain three, and then two front post double crochets. Chain one, three front post double crochets. Again, we have the next shell, make three front post double crochets. Chain one, three front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for each shell. So you're going to make three front post double crochets, chain one, three front post double crochets on each one of the shells. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. In this fourth row, we did the row of front post double crochets. Now, if we count each one of the front post double crochets, you should have a total of 144 front post double crochets, including the three chains here at the beginning. Remember that we have a total of 24 shells and each shell has six front post double crochets. So that's a total of 144 front post double crochets. Now to finish this row, we're always going to go here into the third chain and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And here's the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to turn, don't chain or anything, just turn. And beginning into this space between the last shell and the first shell, so right here, make a single crochet. Now chain one and into each one of the chain one spaces of each one of these shells, make a shell. So six double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six. Chain one in the middle of these two shells right here, make a single crochet, chain one, and again, into the chain one space of the next shell, make six double crochets. Here's our second shell, chain one in the middle of the shells, make a single crochet chain one and into the next chain one space, make your third shell and so on. This is all we're going to do for this fifth row. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have 24 shells. And these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on, the row of front post double crochets and then this row of shells. Now continue, finish this fifth row. I will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to begin the row of front post double crochets. Since from here on, you're just going to continue on your own and just repeat these two rows. So I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. In this row, I did the row of shells. I have a total of 24 shells. Now here at the end, I have my last shell. I'm not going to chain here at the end. Whenever we make the last shell, don't chain here at the end. Um, if you chain, it's okay. Just make sure that you're consistent. I'm not going to chain because when I did this first row here of shell, I didn't chain here. So I'm just going to continue in the same way. I'm not going to chain here at the end. I'm just going to go here on top of the first single crochet that we did at the beginning of the row and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, like I said, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of front post double crochets and the row of shells. So to start you off, we're going to turn don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell, we have six double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three, 
and then two front post double crochets. Chain one, three front post double crochets. Now we have the second shell, make three front post double crochets. Chain one, three front post double crochets. Now this is all we're going to do for this row. When you finish here, you're going to make a slip stitch into the third chain, then turn and repeat this row shells. These are the two rows that we're going to continue with for the skirt here of the dress. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the skirt of the dress. I did a total of 18 rows. Now, this part here is measuring from the middle here of the neckline to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 26.5 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. Now, if you want to make your little dress longer, you can. Just make sure that the last row that you do uh, is the row from post double crochets. So now, to continue, we're going to make two more rows here just to finish the bottom of the dress. So to do this, here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to turn, and here I'm going to make four slip stitches. I'm going to make one slip stitch on each one of these three double crochets, and then one inside the chain one space. So make a slip stitch, that's one, two, three, inside the chain one space, make your fourth slip stitch. Now chain one and into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now in the middle of these two shells, so right here, we're going to make a fan. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So each one of our fans is going to consist of five double crochets separated by a chain. Now into the chain one space of this shell, make a single crochet. And then again, in the middle of these two shells, make your second fan. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Here's the second fan. I have five double crochets separated by one chain. Now on top of the next shell, make a single crochet and then repeat the same thing in between the next two shells. Make another fan. And this is all we're going to do. And that's what it looks like. Continue like this to the end of this row. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row of fans, row 19. Now, here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch right here where I had the single crochet, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. So this part here is done. Now we're going to make one more row. We're going to turn this like this. So this row, we're going to work from the inside out. So this is the wrong side. So here to begin, I'm going to use this white yarn to make this last row. So here's where we finished. Here's the slip stitch. Now right next to the single crochet here into this space, here's the last double crochet of the last fan. So right here, insert your hook there, grab a loop. Chain one, and into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now chain three, in the middle of the next two double crochets, so into the chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three. Into the next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three. Into the next chain one space, single crochet, chain three. And then again, into the last chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three. 
and then we're going to make one last single crochet and the last single crochet is going to go after the last double crochet so right here between the single crochet and the double crochet into this space here make a single crochet now skip the single crochet and then this space between the first double crochet of this fan and the single crochet so right here make a single crochet chain three into the first chain one space of this next fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet into the chain one space chain three single crochet chain three single crochet into the last chain one space and then again chain three and after the double crochet here make a single crochet skip the single crochet and into the space between the last double crochet and the single crochet make a single crochet chain three and then into the chain one space make a single crochet chain three and so on this is all we're going to do and that's what it looks like look how beautiful that looks so on the right side this is what it looks like now continue like this all around i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making this last row here uh, where we did the chains here what i did was i did my last single crochet then i joined to the first single crochet that we did at the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done look how beautiful this looks I absolutely love 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 this little border here now what we're going to do next before I show you the sleeves I've decided to add these little puff sleeves to the little dress um, we're going to do the back side these um, strings here are driving me nuts so I'm going to go ahead and take care of these uh, before I show you the sleeve so let's do this so here this is the back side so we're going to go right here on the left side this is where I have this end of yarn when I did the chain so right in the middle so right here insert your hook grab a loop I'm going to use the pink yarn here and I'm using the same hook size now chain one and into the same stitch here make a single crochet now I'm going to make a single crochet between the next two stitches and then another one so so far I have three single crochets now into the next two I'm going to work a single crochet decrease so insert your hook grab a loop insert your hook into the next grab a loop close here's my single crochet decrease now I'm going to work let's see one two three single crochets and these single crochets I'm making them in between the single crochets of the first row not on top but just in between now here I'm going to make one more single crochet decrease so insert your hook into the next space grab a loop insert your hook into the next space grab a loop three loops close now here I'm going to work this decrease here in the back side so when I get here I'm going to do the same thing so from here on I'm just going to work one single crochet in between the single crochets all around until I come to the last I don't know how many stitches I have here let's see one two three four five six seven last nine stitches so right about here so continue I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next okay I'm almost done with the neckline I have up to here 50 single crochets I still have nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine now we're going to work a single crochet decrease here into the next two so insert your hook grab a loop insert your hook into the next grab a loop three loops close now make three single crochets one two three and into the next two a single crochet decrease so grab a loop into the next stitch grab a loop three loops close and now finish with these last two single crochets and here is the neckline now for the neckline you should have 57 single crochets it's okay if you have one two or three stitches less or more it's it's okay the important thing is that this part here looks nice I think that looks pretty good so now we're going to continue along the sides here and fix here so that we can hide our ends 
here to work our way down we're going to chain one and into the last single crochet insert your hook there and make a single crochet now into the next row make a single crochet i have two into the next row here make two that's three and four into the next row make one that's five into the next row make two so that's five let's see six one two three four five six and seven into the next row make one that's eight into the next row make two nine ten into the next row make one that's eleven and into the next row make two so that's 12 13 let me count them again let's see i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now here into this last row make one so that's 14 single crochets now in the middle here make one and now we're going to work our way up and work 14 single crochets so here i'm going to start with two then one two one and so on until i have 14. you may need to adjust so that you can end with 14 but that's how we're going to continue continue i'll meet you here at the end here at the top to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets for the back side i have 14 single crochets along this side and then 14 single crochets along this side now what we're going to do is i'm going to add a little um, collar here for the little dress if you don't want to do this then just go ahead and cut your yarn pass your yarn through this last loop or maybe just go back down and make a row of buttonholes here on this side that would be up to you and then continue with the sleeves i'm going to continue here along the neckline and make this row here so that we can make our little um, collar here for the little dress so here to begin into the same stitch where i did my last stitch insert your hook there and make a slip stitch a slip stitch on top of the next single crochet let's see that's two three four I have four slip stitches now into the next single crochet through the front loop only make two single crochets one and two now into the next two single crochets make a single crochet and always through the front loop of the single crochet now into this next make an increase so two single crochets this is how we're going to continue we're going to do two then an increase two then an increase let me show you again that's one and two and into the next a single crochet increase always through the front loop again two single crochets one two and into the next a single crochet increase now continue like this all around i will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at this other end of the collar up to here i have 68 single crochets and i still have these last four stitches here so into the next make a slip stitch that's one into the next that's two into the next three and here at the end make your last one so here's four slip stitches and here's the neckline with a total of 68 single crochets and i have four slip stitches on both sides now we're going to continue along this side here make single crochets here i have 14 so i'm going to make 14 single crochets in the middle i'm going to make one and then i'm going to go on this side and show you how to make your buttonholes so here chain one and into this last stitch here make your first single crochet that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Here's 14 single crochets. Now in the middle we did one, so make one single crochet there. And now we're going to work our way up 
and make let's see I put a stitch marker into the seventh single crochet so one two three four five six seven yes so one two three four five six single crochets chain one skip this seventh single crochet and into the next make a single crochet that's one two three four five six single crochets chain one and here at the end right here make a single crochet so here are my two buttonholes there's one right here and one here at the top now these spaces here that we left right here for our buttonhole is big enough for a 10 11 or 12 millimeter I'll let you know what size I use when this part here is done I'll go ahead and show you so now here all we have to do is just cut our yarn and pass our yarn through this last loop and this part here is done now what I'm going to show you next is how to hide your ends here because I'm going to go ahead and do that next so that I can show you the finished um, here this part here finished now here's my end so just insert your needle right there and now we're going to go here on the back side and here in the back side we did that first row single crochet so right along that very edge insert your needle there come up pull a needle and then work your way down and do the same thing skip this one and into the next here insert your needle and just come out here and now pull a little bit cut your yarn and that's how you do it so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you this here all done okay I finished hiding all my ends here are my two button holes that we did here on the back side now these buttons that I used these are 10 millimeter buttons so you can use the same size now what we're going to do here along the neckline is we're going to make a little collar here just like I did with this little dress um, down here in the information box or if you press the little lamb next to my channel name you can find the tutorial for this little dress there so I'm going to do exactly how I did it here now all around the neckline if you remember we did a total of 68 single crochets with four slip stitches here on both sides so to begin we're going to mark the center here of the neckline so I have 34 single crochets from this stitch marker up to here this is the first one so from here all around up to here there's 34 and then the same thing for this side 34 because 68 divided by 2 is 34 so here to begin we're going to go here on the left side beginning into the first single crochet here this first one I'm going to go through both loops so I'm going to grab a loop I'm going to use the white yarn here chain three now into this same stitch here we're going to make a triple crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook back again into the same stitch grab a loop take two loops off take two loops off take two loops off again yarn over twice and into the next single crochet through the front loop of the single crochet insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off take two loops off take two loops off again yarn over twice and into the next single crochet through the front loop insert your hook take two loops off take two loops off take two loops off again yarn over twice and repeat the same thing make a triple crochet and that's all we're going to do here we're going to make these triple crochets up to the last three or four stitches so about here so continue I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the center of the neckline okay I'm here in the middle of the neckline I have four stitches here left before the stitch marker one two three four the last one is here where I have the, my stitch marker up to here I have a total of 30 
triple crochets so now into the next single crochet here we're going to make a double crochet and go through the front loop only here's double crochet into the next make a half double crochet into the next make a single crochet and into the last here where i have the stitch marker make a slip stitch and here's this side and that's what it looks like now we're going to continue along this side but i'm going to remove these two stitch markers here but make sure to put them back once we do these two slip stitches here so into the next stitch which is the first for this side make a slip stitch now into the next single crochet make a single crochet and before i continue and forget i'm going to put a stitch marker into these two center stitches here where we did the slip stitches so right there these are the two slip stitches we did in the center now the next stitch make a half double crochet and into the next stitch make a double crochet always go through the front loop now into the next 30 single crochets make your triple crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook take two loops off take two loops off take two loops off same thing for the next and so on this is how we're going to continue here until we finish here at the end i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at this other end of the collar i finished making these 30 triple crochets here for this other side now here at the end into the last stitch in the same one where i did the last triple crochet into the same stitch here make a double crochet now we're going to make one more row so chain one and turn now in the middle of these two stitches between the triple crochet and the double crochet make a single crochet three chains in the middle of the next two stitches make a slip stitch three chains in the middle of the next two a slip stitch three chains in the middle of the next two a slip stitch three chains and in the middle of the next two a slip stitch we're going to continue like this make sure that you make the slip stitches in the middle of the two stitches here so right in between continue like this all around i will meet you right here in the center to show you what we need to do next okay i'm right here in the center i'm going to remove these two stitch markers here this is where we did the two slip stitches in the third row of the collar so i have three chains and now into the slip stitch where I had the stitch marker make a slip stitch a slip stitch into the next stitch now chain three slip stitch here into this next space chain three slip stitch between the next two chain three slip stitch between the next two and so on here you're just going to continue in the same way i just wanted to show you how you're going to do this part here and i think that looks pretty good let's see yes i think that'll work now continue finish here on the side and i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end i have my last three chains so in the middle of these last two stitches here i'm going to make let's see a single crochet here at the end because I started with a single crochet here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more row here around the neckline and to do this I'm not going to cut my yarn you can easily just cut your yarn and start right here but I'm just going to work let's see three single crochets here where we have this double crochet or actually the three chains here at the end so make three single crochets you can also do slip stitches if you prefer i'm going to do single crochet so i have three single crochets here where i have the three chains and now i'm going to go all around the neckline let me show you where i'm going to insert the hook now here's the first row that we did for the neckline and here's the second row so right here that's where i'm going to be inserting the hook right there to make this next row i'm going to make slip stitches so i just want to show you here where i'm going to insert my hook 
Now this is optional. This is going to reduce a tiny bit the neckline as well. So if you don't want that, then it's okay. You can just leave it like this. So beginning here between these two stitches, let's see, between the first triple crochet and the three chains here, insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. Between the next two stitches, make a slip stitch. Again, between the next, a slip stitch, between the next, a, a slip stitch. And that's what it looks like. I'll show you. Let me do a couple more and I'll show you what it looks like. So like this. So slip stitches. This is what it looks like. And here's the top. You can barely see it. This is going to help the collar here stay down. So that's why I'm doing this row of slip stitches all around. So continue, I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these slip stitches all around. Now here at the end, I did my last slip stitch between the last two spaces, and then I went down here into this last double crochet and did three single crochets, just like I did here, so that it looks the same. And then I just did a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the collar is all done, and that's what it looks like absolutely beautiful now if you have not started your little dress i would not do this row here of ruffles i would only do these three rows here because the collar here covers it up so the neckline is all done with the little collar so now what we're going to do is the little puff sleeve someone commented in my last video where i showed you the little coat um, that they wanted me to show them how to do a little puff sleeve so I've decided to do it here in this little dress I don't think it looks too bad I think it looks pretty nice you can also leave it like this just like a little pinafore dress without sleeves so I'm going to do a little sleeve here so let's start here on this side you're going to do it exactly in the same way as I showed you here for the other side so let's get started so we're going to go here under the sleeve right under the sleeve we did that one chain so into this space here insert your hook I'm going to use the same yarn with the same hook size here and we're going to chain three here one two three now into this same space here, make three double crochets. This here is going to count as the first shell. There, we have three double crochets plus the three chains. Here's our first shell. Now, chain one, find your first chain one space of the sleeve, which is this one here. So into this first chain one space, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next chain one space, make a shell. Now, these shells here are going to consist of four double crochets. If you want to make them exactly like this, like the dress where we did six double crochets instead, you can. The only thing is that your sleeve is going to be slightly more puffier. It's going to be a little bit bigger because the shells are bigger. I'm going to make them with four double crochets. Now, chain one and into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one into the next make a shell so four double crochets and this is how we're going to continue all around just make a shell chain one and into the next space single crochet chain one and into the next space a shell continue i will meet you here at this other end to show you how we're going to finish this first row okay i'm here at this other side of the sleeve this is the first row i have my last shell chain one now into this chain one space where we have these three double crochets so right here into the same space here make a single crochet and now to finish go on top of the third chain right here and join with a slip stitch and here's the first row. I have a total of 11 shells. Now turn for the second row. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Here we have the first shell. We have four double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post slip stitch, then chain three, make a front post double crochet, chain one, two front post double crochets. 
Now we have the next shell, make two front post double crochets. Chain one, two front post double crochets. And that's all we're going to do all around. Each one of the shells, you're going to make two front post double crochets, one chain, two front post double crochets. Continue all around. I'll meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I did my last two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets here into this last shell. Now to finish, we're going to go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row with a total of 11 shells. Now for the third row, turn, don't chain or anything, just turn. Now in the middle here of the first and last shell, right here, make a single crochet chain one now we have the first shell so inside the chain one space here make four double crochets which is one shell chain one in the middle of the shells single crochet chain one inside the chain one space make a shell so four double crochets chain one in the middle of the shells single crochet chain one and then inside the next shell a shell continue like this all around for this third row i will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row here's my last shell chain one to finish here's the single crochet just make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this third row with a total of 11 shells. Now for the fourth row, turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. We have the first shell, make a front post slip stitch, chain three. Now make three front post double crochets. In this row, we're not going to make the chain one space. We're just going to make front post double crochets. Now we have the next shell, make four front post double crochets. And that's all we're going to do all around for this fourth row. Four front post double crochets. Continue, I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where I did front post double crochets to finish. We're going to go here to the beginning where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now in this space right here between the first and last shell right here, make a double crochet. Now in this row, we're going to make double crochet decreases. So yarn over, insert your hook on top of the first double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over on top of the next double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, into the next two, work a double crochet decrease. And into the next two, again a double crochet decrease this is all we're going to do all around double crochet decrease continue like this all around i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this fifth row i did my last double crochet decrease here at the end up to here i have a total of 23 double crochets not including the two chains now to finish we're going to go here on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this row with a total of 23 double crochets now for the next three rows we're going to make three rows of single crochet so just like this now if you try this on your little girl and you feel like the sleeve here is too tight then in this row where we did the double crochet decreases don't do too many i would do maybe every other stitch so 
work a double crochet decrease and into the next make a normal double crochet and then into the next do the double crochet decrease and that way you're going to end with more stitches here around the sleeve so now to continue i'm going to use a slightly bigger hook I'm going to use this four millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you're making this little dress using any other hook size, just go up half a hook size to make this last part here, to make the last three rows. And that way, the sleeve here is not too tight around. So here, we're going to chain one and into the same stitch where we join with a slip stitch, make a single crochet. On top of the next, make a single crochet single crochet on top of the next single crochet on top of the next and so on here you're going to be left with 23 single crochets now to finish this row you're going to go here on top of the first single crochet join with a slip stitch chain one and into that same stitch make your first single crochet for the second row and then you're going to repeat the same thing for the third row so in total we're going to make three rows so continue let's finish these last three rows and then i'll come back and show you the finished sleeve i finished making these three rows for this sleeve here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop now here what we're going to do is one more row i'm going to do this row here in white if you want to leave a sleeve like this it's all done now to start here i'm going to go down half a hook size so i'll use the original hook the 3.5 and we're going to start right here this is where i finished and we're going to do this row from the inside out so from the wrong side out so i'm going to go into the next stitch right here grab a loop with white chain three skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch and that's all we're going to do all around when you finish you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch then chain one cut your yarn pass your yarn through that last loop and this part is going to be done now continue let's finish this part and then i'll come back and show you the finished dress okay i finished making the last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is all done now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here you're going to do it here on this side it's done exactly in the same way so the little dress is all done this is what it looks like from the bottom i'll turn it over this is the back side these are the sleeves i absolutely love these puff sleeves so there it is and here's the bottom now here in the center all i did was just weave the little ribbon here and then i just did a little bow here in the center now these little flowers are pre-made i purchased these from joann's now this little dress i did it using a uh, baby dk weight yarn but you can also use any cotton yarn i recommend that if you're making this little dress for the summer or springtime you may want to use cotton yarn since uh, acrylic tends to be a little bit more hot now I have the little matching sweater that I showed you earlier. This one here, down here in the information box, you can find a link to this tutorial. Now, comment below and let me know what else you want me to show you with this set. I've gotten some requests to make the matching pants for this little sweater. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do that, but just comment, let me know if you want me to do that. Um, most of pants and baby booties and hats don't tend to do too well as far as views in my channel, and it's a lot of work. So I'm not sure if I want to do that unless you all really, really, really want me to. So please comment and let me know, and please hit that like button. I'll go ahead and see what I can do. And the same thing for the little dress, if you want me to do the matching diaper cover, baby booties, uh, bonnet or hat let me know comment uh, let me give you the finished measurement so here from the top of the neckline here to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 14 centimeters which is about 5.5 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about six centimeters which is about 2.5 inches now from the top of the neckline down to the end here it's measuring about 33 centimeters which is about 13 inches and the waist just the top it's measuring about 26 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches so based on these measurements this little dress here along with the little sweater is for babies between six and nine months old 
Now you can also make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box. I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller from zero to three months and up to 12 to 24 months. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.